Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new podcast, whatever it's going to be. It's not going to really be a podcast. Anyway, I want to deal with this topic called this, 3 o'clock, this is 3 o'clock in the morning for God's sakes for a lot of people. Uh, this is what you call witching hour. I thought 12 o'clock was the witching hour. But no, 3 o'clock in the morning, that's around 3 o'clock in the morning in that time frame. Um, that everybody thinks that uh, they need to do a challenge, any type of challenge out there. Um so I'm going to put this in the title for a lot of YouTubers about this 3 o'clock in the morning, not 3 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, this 3 o'clock challenge, that's a.m., not p.m., uh, Eastern Standard Time, that's a.m. in the morning, a.m. in the morning, it's, it's, uh, it's basically before breakfast in the morning for a lot of people. Uh, there's a few people out there that want to do these 3 o'clock in the morning challenges, um, very much 3 o'clock in the morning challenges. And what I gather is um, this one guy on YouTube, he does a three, three o'clock in the morning challenges um, to haunted locations. And these are like, um, uh, they like to uh, explore the three o'clock challenge by going to haunted locations. They're paranormal investigators. Just the way it sounds. Paranormal investigators. Um... I will put that in the title, but the three three o'clock in the morning challenges are great. Uh, maybe twenty four hours, maybe twenty four hours, but anyway, three o'clock in the morning is great. Um, people go to stores and stay overnight in the stores when they close down. You know, when the uh, that's any stores, that's any stores around the United States or Canada. Um, when the stores are closed, they want to they want to do the twenty four hour. They call it the twenty four hour challenge. And uh, either it's 3 o'clock in the after, uh, middle of the night or 24 hours challenge. They'll do it. They'll do it. Uh, in a store when they close up at the uh, closing hours to the uh, in the morning when they open back up. Yeah. So 3 o'clock challenge. I will put that in the title of this, uh, uh, in, this vid, in this audio. This is just audio. Uh, the sound, uh, audio sound. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. So the 3... 3 a.m. challenge is great, but some people do the 24-hour challenge in stores. I mean, this is like malls or stores that you go to, uh, to Kmart's, to Walmart's, to your um, to many stores, big box stores, big you know Kmart stores, uh, and uh, they try and do the 24-hour challenge. And this is kind of like the 3 o'clock in the morning challenge. This is like a.m., not p.m., a.m. So, anyway, since it is 3.30 in the morning, um, this will be a challenge for me to do a podcast at this hour. I kid you not, 3 o'clock in the morning, a lot of people are sleeping, but I feel like I want to do a podcast to get out there to the YouTubers out there. Don't forget, don't forget the story fire with uh, You Know Who. Um, a lot of people are on there now. There's a few people, uh, Jesse, who you know, uh, is trying to get, um, how you say, it, uh, the hiring on thing. Um, he's doing the hiring on. You might you might know him. Um, he's going around doing the, all the hiring for his Storyfire website. That he's, he wants people to be on there, to be hired for Storyfire, essentially. And he's doing a hiring spree, if I were to say. Uh, and he's going around asking a lot of people, well, close knit friends, but sometimes you don't, not always the close knit friends. It's you have to go outside the box essentially, uh, and try people that uh, could be with the story fire thing. And Jesse, you'll you'll see him when you see him. Um, he's the juggernaut. He's the guy who used to do YouTube videos for for quite a while, um, and. Um, um, he goes around and he's uh, he quit YouTube like last year. I kid you not, folks. He quit entirely. Three videos he did. Told everybody he's quitting YouTube. He's, he's I'm not sure about quitting the channel, but quitting YouTube for good. Moving on to Storyfire. Now I checked last night uh, on this uh, Storyfire from all the um, people that are still there on Storyfire. Um, not many do have videos up there, and not many are doing. It's not like YouTube where they have a lot of subscriber base. Uh, and usually what uh, people tend to use nowadays is uh, YouTube. 
and because uh, due to the subscriber base, to the to the viewership, to the to the likes, dislikes, um, that that goes for any YouTuber out there in the world. Uh, but uh, Storyfire is different. Him and I think Brian. I checked Brian's uh, Storyfire, and he didn't have any videos, any videos whatsoever. I was stunned. I was stunned to see that. Um, but yeah, he's trying to hire people on Storyfire, and just is going around. It's like a hiring spree in a way. Uh, and he's trying to tell all his friends, his closeness friends, basically his co closeness friends, to help him out, and probably going outside the box, outside his uh, closeness friends, to get these people on Storyfire. And he, he's doing a hiring spree now. I didn't mention the other day about the Super Cooter. Uh, it's a website I've heard about. Um, it has ad commercials, and it apparently it hires on people. Now, if I see that commercial again, I will look it up. I'll look it up on the video. Um, it just does all the hiring for you, uh, so the other websites don't. Uh, ZipRecruiter, I think that's spelled. I forget how it's spelled, uh, but uh, it, apparently there was commercial ads about this, and. Uh, and uh, I didn't get quite... When I see that commercial next time, I'll tell Jesse about it. Uh, I'll give them a heads up on that for the hiring spree. And you just hire people from ZipRecruiter. I never saw the website. I just heard about the, on the ad commercial. And that's pretty much it. Uh, so so if you want to know... But anyway, I'm not talking about that one for now. Um, this is definitely February going into the second month, second month of 2020. Second month. This is the second day of February. Um, so second month, second day of February, and um, yeah, it's 2020, and it's not because, as I always keep saying, it's not the people who changed, it's the calendar. It's it's like um, we came from 20 years in, into the year 2000s, and a lot of people has passed away. Now, I'm not going to mention their names, because I don't want to give them recognition, and I might get their name wrongs. Um, but there's many people in the industry who passed away. Uh, recent, the one recent person passed away was Kobe Bryant. There was a, a spirit box session done for him. Uh, 70, you had to give a person 72 hours before they pass away, after they pass away. 72 hours. And then he could communicate, you know, the spirit of a person. And, uh, yeah, so bear that in mind, everybody. We're on the second month of a brand new year. 2020, second month, second day. I'm all excited. The Raptors are playing. There's going to be um, the Grey Cup with the football, American football game. I might be watching the halftime uh, game. Uh, I'm all excited about it. Uh, there's a lot of things to be happening to, uh, Sunday. Um, I want to say rest in peace to my dear friend. I know it's coming up to two years since his passing. A lot of people are telling me through social media. He was on also on social media. And uh, he was uh, it was my friend for 31 years, and he was he knew a few people on social media, and um, yeah, it was my dear friend, and uh, he was native. He was part native, um, so he was part of a tribe, if you understand that. Um, so yeah, but anyway, uh, uh, it's coming up to two years since his passing in uh, 2018. Um, so yeah, it was uh, it's. I'm deeply, uh, still to this day, I'm still miss him. Uh, but uh, won't be any Sundays anymore from uh, be coming over. So just bear that in mind, everybody. So anyway, uh, this is just a video about three, 3 a.m. challenges that people do. Or maybe 24-hour challenges. Either way, it's just challenges. So um, that in mind, uh, this is just going to be titled three... Uh, three uh, three a.m. challenges that I'm seeing on YouTube videos. Just the th uh, just the title of the videos, and uh, sometimes sometimes three a.m. and sometimes twenty four hours challenges. Uh, from uh, uh, sometimes they'll do is they'll do a uh, middle. Uh, they'll do they go to a store when they close up when they close up the stores. Uh, sometimes they'll go there um, themselves with the camera and film the whole night there. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway, I will put that in the title. And don't you worry, folks. This is not alar I'm not alarmist. Uh, this is just a pop podcast. 
And uh, yeah, so don't, uh, don't be alarmist, don't be a stranger. You're, you guys are welcome to hear my vi- my uh, podcast anytime, anywhere. You're always welcome to hear my uh, podcast if you feel like up to it. Um, these are by, by the way, these are going to be EQ'd equalizations on the audio in, and uh, you can hear me very clearly. So I'm going to put the EQ on them, and um, and YouTube is based on viewership, subscriber base, and likes and dislikes on the videos. Uh, audio, video, whatever. Um, a lot of, lot of, uh, and a lot of other YouTubers are trying to get on having their own apps, their own apps, uh, part of the uh, YouTube thing. They're using their own apps, so they're developing the apps. I'll talk about that further in the next uh, podcast. Develop their own apps, essentially, besides their YouTube channels. Uh, and they might have exclusive content. Uh, they would design their own apps and they would have exclusive t- content. Imagine that, your own app. People go to your exclusive app on the iOS device. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you further. I'm going to end this. I'm going to say ciao for now for everybody out there who's listening. My exit strategy on this podcast will be saying goodbye, everybody. I'll see you in the next podcast. There will be another podcast. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to be right here doing another podcast. And uh, I'll do it until, until I no longer can do this. Um, if I have a voice, that's great. If I have hands and feet, if I can move around, I'm not disabled, I can do this. And yes, you can. The whole mentality of that is called yes, you can. You don't want to hear people say, no, I can't do this. No, you can do this. You have potential. As I say to people, you have potential. I see it in your eyes. You have potential to do this. You know, it's like Teeny Turner. Um, it's like Ike Turner seeing potential of a Teeny Turner. Teeny Turner, the singer Teeny Turner. Uh, Ike saw potential out of her. She ran with it. I kid you not. She ran with it. The idea of her being a singer, maybe in the near future being a movie actor. So, yeah. So bear that in mind. If you see if you see something something in someone, really something special, just take a look. That there could be something someone special in the midst. Somebody who has potential could be what they could be, what they're not to be. You know, there's a lot of potential there. As I would say to people, you have a lot of potential to be what you want to be. When you remember that dream, the ultimate dream. Well, you could be that ultimate dream. You could do it. You could do it. Nobody says you can't. I don't like hearing people, you can't. But uh, see potential in people's eyes. And I see right through them. And it's like it's like uh, uh, Justine. Or like, I see potential there. She's really good at what she does. Uh, just recently she did a, a vlog for university. I was, <laughs> I was trying to, for me in my own way, I was saying really to myself. I say, really, Justine? I mean, a vlog university? No one's even heard of that. But anyway, anyway, she thought, I guess she thought outside the box. Um, but anyway, um, that was quite hilarious. In my, in my estimation, that was quite hilarious. I mean, in a good way, not to laugh at her in the face. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's a good idea. She thought outside the box. I get it. It's just uh, the whole humor of that. Um but she's some, she's someone kind of special, and I mean, not to put her in a box or anything. Just to she, they, these people think outside the box. I mean, literally, if you ask them, they think it outside the box. Literally, and they have an idea of saying, "Oh, we're going to have this uh, blob university." Wow, really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Kind of thing. And the person would say, "No, I'm not kidding. We can do this." And the whole principle of that is, I would say to people, is that you could do this. There's potential here. You know, I see someone in someone's eyes and say, hey, there's something potential here that you could be what you could be. Uh, you know, um, I really say this to anybody, but uh, when, it, when I see that someone, someone special, I say to them, hey, there's potential there. There is potential of you, this person, that can really, really think outside the box and really take it to another level. It's like Ike, see, Ike Turner seeing potential out of a teeny Turner. Said, okay, Ike Turner said to a teeny Turner, say, hey, you could become a singer or an actor in the future. And I guess Ike Turner's seen something special out of her. 
and she ran with it. I mean, in those days, you know, anything's possible in those days. <laughs> so she took what she ran with it. She did the singing. You see her today. She's 80 years old. Can you believe it? 80 years old. She turned. Can you believe this? The rest of us were in our 50s. Anyway, uh, enough said. So uh, uh, 80 years old. So if you meet uh, Tina Turner, the singer Tina, the real Tina Turner, who's came along since the early 80s, um, sang with Brian Adams. If you know Brian Adams, the singer Brian Adams, they had one song on his album called um, It's Only Love. And uh, that was the pre-recorded version. But if you hear the live version, it's very lively. A very lively version. Um, but yeah, so Tina Turner came a long way. She's done a, many songs. I mean, these were not, they're not uh, kick ass songs, but they're just, you know, they're not like Guns N' Roses or Metallica, you know, <laughs> you know, kind of songs. But uh, just bear that in mind, everybody. It's, it's. So anyway, enough said. So this is only going to be a three, three, um, the middle of the night challenge for anybody out there on the YouTube videos. Maybe 24 hours, whatever whatever you want it to be. Maybe three uh, three o'clock in the morning, maybe uh, 12 o'clock at night, maybe just do challenges. I think that's uh, pretty good. There's some uh, paranormal investigators who would like to do three, three o'clock in the morning challenges. Maybe 24 hour challenges. But yeah, anyway, that's enough for me. Thank you for listening to, if you've, if you want to hear more of me, I'll still be here. As long as I'm not passed away or anything like that, or I'm disabled and can't do this, someone else will have to do this for me. Um, but yeah, don't forget the three hour, uh, three, three o'clock in the morning challenges. Don't forget that, okay? Because the people are still doing that. I see them on YouTube videos, and I see these people are really doing good what they do on their own YouTube channels. It's stunning to me. It really is. You, uh, it's like diamond in the rough, in these in these video video people, and they're just doing videos. They're vlogging. They have vlog cameras. These are ordinary, expensive vlog cameras that they vlog out to, and you need a DLSR, whatever its camera is. Uh, and uh, yeah, so anyway, just whatever whatever camera you use, it's great. It's great. I, I use a. I will use a if, if for any cameras out there just use a GoPro use a GoPro camera they they, they do 4k resolution uh, on videoing I kid you not it's uh, I think 60 frames per second uh, or 30 frames per second whatever frame rate it is and sometimes you get stabilization on camera you get the stabilization so it's not jiggy a bit um, you know, sometimes you uh, it depends on what uh, video footage it comes out with but anyway, don't forget that. Anyway, 3 o'clock in the morning challenges, that's great. But we'll put that in the title in the note, in little notes too. Um, and this big title, I'm just going to make it a big title about it. And um, so, don't be a stranger. As I would say to people, don't be a stranger. You're always welcome to hear my uh, podcast anytime you like, okay? I'm not harmful. I'm not, you know, I'm not a devil. I'm not devil in disguise or anything. Just... If you want to hear my voice, uh, you could. It's not frightening or anything. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You guys, I'm not going to tell you what my YouTube channel is. You guys going to have to find out. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next YouTube channel, uh, next uh, podcast. 